Hi everyone. In these bars from the first of his consolations written in 1849, Liszt's underlying harmonic progression is fairly straightforward but is occasionally obscured by notes which may be heard either as extensions of the harmony or as non-harmony notes. Here, for example, given the F sharp and the bass and the A in the top part, I hear this as a supertonic F sharp 7th chord with the B as a dominant pedal. Could the B, however, also be heard as an added 4th over the lower F sharp? Possibly, although here, given that the B note has doubled, I favour the pedal option. These chords I hear as B dominant 9th chords in 4 to inversion, which although they lack their 3rd degrees, still behave and resolve correctly to this 1st inversion tonic E major chord. Tonic E major harmony then moves through this first inversion submediant C sharp minor seventh chord to supertonic harmony, which has here been changed to dominant harmony, moving as a secondary five of five. Taken together in isolation, the notes of this chord can be heard as a dominant ninth, the third of which is approached by this four three suspension prepared as a seventh of the previous submediant seventh harmony. This move follows the typical alternation of 3rd and 7th degrees when 7th chords are used in succession. The F sharp dominant 7th degree, however, doesn't literally follow on from the submediant's 3rd and is instead transferred to an upper part to move in 3rds with the top G sharp note. The G sharp, as mentioned, may be heard as the secondary dominant's 9th degree. However, it may also be heard as the ninth of a 9-8 suspension prepared as the fifth of the preceding submediant seventh chord and resolving not over secondary F-sharp dominant harmony, but instead over the following B dominant seventh chord. The B dominant seventh degree doesn't appear to resolve to the third of the following tonic E major chord and instead ascends chromatically to E major's fifth. However, the dominant's other notes resolve as expected. These bars essentially repeat the work's opening progression, although here Liszt uses a secondary A-sharp half-diminished 7th chord, moving to a dominant 7th chord on E major's leading note. Together these chords move as a 2-5 progression in G-sharp minor. As in bar 4, Liszt here again delays the dominant's 3rd degree with a 4-3 suspension, here prepared as the 7th of the A-sharp half-diminished 7th chord. This E may be heard as an appoggiatura, a move which echoes the same move, the resolution of the A-sharp half-diminished 7th chord's 5th degree to the D-sharp dominant 7th 3rd here in the bass. The D-sharp dominant 7th 3rd, 5th and 7th degrees resolve here as expected to G-sharp and B notes, however Liszt also includes an E note in the upper part which only moves to D-sharp and the complete G-sharp minor triad in the latter part of the bar. Is this chord E major 7 harmony in 4-2 inversion, G sharp minor 6 harmony, or G sharp minor harmony with an E incomplete upper neighbor note prefix, echoing the previous E to D descent? Given the progression is essentially repeated again through these bars before being modally changed to E major's parallel minor, I think Liszt is still thinking in terms of E major, but is using G sharp minor 5-6 progression for color. The juxtaposition of third related chords here also contributes to the slight tonal ambiguity of these bars. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.